guys, it's Sid. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Sydney. I'm currently a senior in high school. I'm from uh, Pennsylvania, kind of near Philly. It's whatever. I've recently gone through a very long college journey and I'm finally at the end. I've heard from all of my schools and I've taken some time to decide where I'm going. So I have eight lanyards here. I applied to 10 schools. The two lanyards that are not here are University of Southern California and Loyola University, Maryland. I got rejected from USC and Loyola University, Maryland. I never actually got to visit, but they did just send me a free application, so that's why I applied there. Let's get on to the ones that are here. Here I have Stony Brook University on Long Island. Here I have University of Hawaii, Sacred Heart University in Fairfield, Connecticut, Arizona State University in Tempe, Arizona, Syracuse University in Syracuse, American University in DC, Emerson College in Boston, and Ithaca College in Ithaca. <laughs> so I have my laptop right here because I do have a giant spreadsheet of pros and cons and money and that kind of stuff because it took me a very long time to decide where I'm going to college, but I figured I'd do a fun little reveal for you guys and pick up the lanyards and kind of tell you like, oh, here's why I'm not going here, here's why I'm not going here, and then go from there. So we are going to start with Stony Brook University. Stony Brook University is on Long Island. Let me scroll to it on here. Stony Brook University is on Long Island. It is very beautiful and nice, large, typical college campus, and it was really nice, close to New York City if you take the LIR, and it was near the Hamptons. It has a beach near campus. It's a very nice area but the program is unranked and I didn't really like the dorms that much and I also just didn't really get that like feeling when I was on campus. So we are going to be eliminating Stony Brook University. I still love it as a college, it just doesn't have everything that I'm looking for. Next on this lovely assortment of lanyards, we have Ithaca College. Now for those of you who don't know me personally, I went to a month-long summer camp at Ithaca College for journalism and TV production. And when I was there, I really thought I was going to go there. I felt like it was home. I just felt like it was the place for me. But after kind of expanding more, I realized that although it has an amazing program, Ithaca is so amazing. David Muir went there, he's my favorite journalist. It has so much to offer. It's near the, it just has so much nature. It was really nice for me. The things that I didn't really like about it were that the dorms just weren't for me. I didn't like the setup and you're not allowed to hang tapestries there or anything on the walls. And that's like a big thing for me. And there's a lot of snow and I, I'm kind of iffy about the snow because they didn't have like tunnels or anything like that. And there's not a lot of like social options there. I still love Ithaca. The program is amazing and everyone who goes there is amazing. I have two friends that are going there next year. I just, after going on this huge college journey, I didn't feel like it was a place for me, so I have to eliminate Ithaca College. Next up, I am going to talk about why I will not be attending University of Hawaii. So if you guys also don't know me personally, I love Hawaii, I go there a lot. It's one of the best places on earth. It makes me so happy, the sunshine and the beaches. It's just, I am just like, I, I can't even describe it, I just, I belong in Hawaii. However, I applied here as a safety school and they have a journalism program, although it is not ranked and I haven't heard many good or bad things about it. But although Hawaii has beautiful hikes and so many opportunities to like do stuff with the environment, it's in Hawaii and I'm in Pennsylvania. Those flights are over a thousand dollars sometimes, so I'd never be able to come home and although I do want to get out of Pennsylvania, I don't think going somewhere where I wouldn't be able to come home. Oh dear, my dog just like scampered. I don't think going somewhere where I wouldn't be able to come home at all, or my parents wouldn't be able to help me if anything bad ever happened. So I'm going to have to eliminate University of Hawaii, even though I love her so much. <laughs> okay, so we're down to five. We're getting, we're getting there. So next I'm actually going to talk about Sacred Heart University in Connecticut. I do not have much bad things to say about Sacred Heart, honestly. My sister went there for undergrad. She's at Columbia University now for her graduate program. It's a short train ride to New York City. I'm familiar with the area and it's a really nice school. They just revamped the communications program. I also got into their honors program and I would be singing in the choir there. So they gave me a scholarship for singing in their choir. So that's something that kind of pushed me to kind of go there. However, they don't have on-campus jobs that are not for federal work study, so I wouldn't be able to get a job. And the program is unranked. It's very good, I've been there, I've toured it, and it is an amazing program. 
and they have a bunch of opportunities, but it is unranked and I'm just not sure I want to go somewhere with like a program that's not as developed as the ones that I have here. So that's the one thing that deterred me from there. Um, but I really do like Sacred Heart. I honestly, it was really hard to say like, okay, I don't think I want to go here just because I love it there so much. I love visiting Fairfield and it's just an amazing, it's an amazing school. And no, no shade to any of these schools. I really love all the schools I applied to. I did not dislike any of them. It's just there's some stuff that I was looking for and some of these schools didn't have it. So I have to eliminate Sacred Heart University. Next, we're gonna kind of get a little out of order. So we're going to do Emerson College. This one is in Boston. Emerson College is amazing. They are near Harvard and all the other like Boston University, Boston College, all those colleges in Boston. It's in a great area. The dorms were huge, like the biggest dorms I've ever seen in my life. They were huge. They had beautiful views as well. I could do like political communication and double major in journalism, so journalism and political communication, which is what I'm going for no matter what. But Emerson had a good program for that. If I wanted, I could intern with the Red Sox at spring training, which would be really awesome. The one thing I didn't like about Emerson mainly was just the cost. It was a very expensive college. They did give me a scholarship, although it was not as generous as these three schools here. So I kind of had to rule them out mainly on the factor of price and they only provide housing for two years. So I would have to find housing in Boston, which is also very expensive, but I did really love the program. I'm kind of sad that I was not, or I'm not able to afford it just because it is such a good program. It's one of the highest ranked in the country. So I had to eliminate Emerson College based on that. And now let's get to our final three. So here are our final three. These are the colleges that I really thought had a good potential for me and had a lot of stuff. So we have American University, Syracuse University, and Arizona State University. So first, I'm just going to talk about why I like all these programs so much, and then I'll get into which ones I'm eliminating, because this is kind of where it gets a little wonky. But I really liked how they were all ranked in the top 10 for journalism. They all had amazing programs. American is in DC. Syracuse has always been known just for amazing journalism. In Arizona State, I got into their Amish College, which is number one ranked in America, and they are also very good for journalism. And they all have the opportunity to double major. They all have everything. So now let's get into which ones I am not going to. So the first one I'm going to eliminate is Syracuse University. I am sorry, Tasia. I, Tasia's my friend, she goes to Syracuse and she really wanted me to go to Syracuse, but I have to eliminate Syracuse University. And I'll tell you why. With my, I'm like stress sweating, oh my God. Syracuse University, when I visited in August, was probably my top choice. It has been one of my top choices for a very, very long time. It was really hard for me to kind of get down and say, Sydney, it's just not, I had to like sit down, I really had to think like, where do I see myself going to school? And although Syracuse is like one of the top ranked programs in the country, and just like Newhouse, which is the communication school, has an amazing building, um, multiple libraries, they have good football and basketball. It's far away from also a lot of cities. So Syracuse is smack dab in the middle of New York. And it's a couple hours from, it's pretty far from New York City and Boston and, anywhere else I could get really good internships. And I know that people have gotten good internships. They have great study abroad programs. It's just, I feel like that's kind of far for me to do from my college. I would rather have an internship that is near my college, like a five minute drive or a couple minutes walk. So that was something I took into consideration with Syracuse. And it is also very expensive for me to do. So if you guys don't know, Syracuse University tends to range around $70,000 a year, and I was lucky enough to get a $10,000 scholarship. However, it's still expensive, like $60,000, you guys know that's a lot of money. Right now, I feel like the most practical decision for me is to go where I feel most at home, and I feel like Syracuse is not the place where I stepped on campus, and I was like, wow, like I feel like I'm at home here. So that's one of the reasons why I eliminated Syracuse University. So for these final two, I'm gonna give some quick pros and cons because this video looks like it's gonna be really long and a lot of you probably don't care. So here's some pros for American University. It's in Washington, DC. You have a lot of internships, 
very highly ranked program, and it's an also an amazing college. They have great alumni, it's in a super safe area, it's by where all like the diplomats and those kind of people like have their houses. It's just very safe. I also love Washington DC. I am going to be double majoring in journalism and political science, so there's a lot of internships opportunities in DC, and I really did fall in love with it when I went to the campus. Some pros for Arizona State University is that it's also an amazing program in the top 10, and it has the number one honors college in America, which I was accepted to. It's very easy for me to double major here. There's a lot of campus experience because it is the biggest college in the United States. Barrett alumni tend to get like more jobs. Like if Barrett's on your resume, you'll tend to get more jobs on the West Coast. And there's also this great exchange program with um, PBS DC. So I would go to DC for a semester and work as a White House correspondent. And I just think that's an amazing opportunity. And also the campus is basically a resort. Like I have a rooftop pool. Um, my dorm is huge and really nice and there's a lot of nice people I know who are going here. So now we have to get to our cons. American University tends to range around sixty-five to $70,000 a year, and I was only awarded $10,000 as a scholarship, which is still a lot, but that still brings it down. Like Syracuse, still a lot of money. Um, so it's quite expensive. The dorms are very, very small, which I didn't really like, and the double major is quite difficult just because the School of International Studies, I think it's called, or the School of International Relations. It is very competitive, so I would have to transfer into that major as a double major. Some cons for Arizona State University is that it is kind of expensive to fly back and forth. I mean, I wouldn't be able to come home for Thanksgiving or anything like that, so that is kind of sad. And also, with the campus that I'm living on, which is downtown, I actually never got to see the library, and a library is like a big um, factor for me. So American did have a really nice library, but Arizona State I never got to see their library, but I did get to see the libraries at Tempe, and those were beautiful and nice. Yeah, so that's the cons for Arizona State. And now, I'm going to do my college reveal. So I will be attending Arizona State University. <laughs> that was really stupid, I'm sorry. I will be attending Arizona State University, Walter Cronkite School of Journalism, Barrett Honors College, Fall 2019, ASU 2023. Sorry, that was a bit excessive. I will be attending Arizona State University as the class of 2023, I know, I know. A lot of people think Arizona State's just a party school, but for me, it has the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism, which is ranked in the top 10 in the country, and the number one honors college in America, which I was accepted to. ASU was the first school I got into. They gave me the presidential scholarship, which is $15,500 a year. I also got a Barrett scholarship, and I also have the opportunity to sing there as well. So that's really the big thing. I'm going far away from home. I'm real excited about it. And yeah, just a disclaimer, I was not trying to bash these school in any way. I actually genuinely loved every school I applied to. And I really, really am thankful that I was accepted to so many and granted scholarships from so many. So yeah, but I am going to be attending Arizona State University. If you're also attending Arizona State, let me know. If you guys are seniors, let me know where you guys are thinking about going to college or where you've committed already. So I'm really excited to be attending Arizona State University. And let me know if you guys have any questions. I will answer anything in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.